cycle of the resistance and whatever way god hey guys oh girl we haven't talked in a while oh my god update i got some glasses if you follow me on instagram you know you <clears throat> be able to see that i'm in love with them i got them for a shoot that i'm gonna do with my uh i haven't put this baby on in a minute she's kind of like tangly but hold on let me see <laughs> okay this is a little crazy like like a saint patrick's session. okay i haven't talked to you guys in a while because um well it's been like finals week so i've been getting like projects out the way and all this stuff and um i've also been really busy i've been working a lot and i've just been you know when you want to live a life that's great you just can't do one thing you have to do one thing and what you love like i just can't just do my schoolwork and be like feel accomplished so like no baby i have to do my schoolwork then i have to like make a beat or write or like edit a video or something but I just came to say something that's been on my mind lately and I was just talking about this with my sister. Change is okay. I didn't want to record. I've been putting off recording because I didn't want to do like another sit down video. I really wanted to give you guys like a day in my life or something but it's just been so fucking chaotic and um, so yeah, I have another sit down video for you to hold you over until I'm gonna vlog my shoot, so, until my shoot day, which I haven't even set the date yet, but it's happening. I have coffee in here. I wish I was a tea type of person. I mean, I am a tea, but in the mornings, I need coffee. My life is a little too fast paced for tea. But, before I go to work, I have something to tell you. You know, me and my little journal. So I have another Instagram page. It's called Rockstar. It's Rockstar, but it's not spelled Rockstar. It's spelled um, R C K T S R. I don't even know. <clears throat> I don't even know how to spell it my own, but I just made it up. It's like my little dump page, and the last thing that I posted was I was watching this woman. Her name is. Uh, Actually, don't remember her name her youtube name is brown and bendy i seen her pop up my timeline a lot but i never clicked her video because i don't know i'm so skeptical about who i watch because everyone is trying to push like an agenda but i'm just gonna share my experience with you i'm letting go of resistance to start walking the path i need to bring my desires to reality i'm going to let go of resistance and wherever way god sees fit for me to walk on this path i accept and this was so it hit me so much because it was like damn like i get in these phases where i have so much faith in myself and then i have a bunch of faith out of myself like i don't believe i find it so hard to believe because i don't know that things are possible for me and like great things are possible for me just because when I change my mind a lot, I change my mind a lot because I'm fucking human and my dad used to tell me that, oh yeah, you're unstable. And the first time he told me that, that really like hit me because he sat down on my bed and he said that to me. When a parent sit down on someone's bed, I wasn't expect, expecting him to say like, yeah, you're all fucking stable. I look a mess. But that's what he said. And then I was just like, oh wow, okay. And a part of me believed that, so anytime I changed my desires out of life into this, or I tried different things, I would always, that would always come back to my head that I'm unstable. And in order to get what you want out of life, you have to have some type of focus. So I would like get out of faith and I would say, oh, like, I don't think this is meant for me. I don't think this is for me, but I was journaling or I saw this and I realized that like change is such a good thing and I'm not really into like astrology and shit but my birthday is May 5th and the number five represents change and I'm a, I'm a double five May 5th month number five and freaking <laughs> the day is five 
So a narrow mind represents change and life transformation. So it's like, it's inevitable for me not to change. Like I'm always going to change because it's literally just, it's written. And I don't know, if you're struggling with something or like a new life decision that you've made or you're struggling to make a life decision, just know it's okay to change your mind. It's okay if you grew up and you thought this was what you wanted to do and it's not something that you want to do anymore. It's okay if you change your mind and say, fuck, I don't want to do any of this shit anymore. It's okay. And it's like, it's nobody else's business but you and God. I don't even know if I'm going to post this because I don't think what I'm saying makes sense. But I just, especially from where I come from in like an African home, it's it's like an abomination to change your mind. Like you have to have something set and you have to, you know, you have to make up your mind. If you don't make up your mind, you're going down the wrong path. But it's okay to follow your heart. It's okay to change. It's okay to, you know, become, reinvent yourself in a way that no one really understands and take the risk. Take the risk that everybody is scared to take. Take the risk that your family members are scared to take. Take it for yourself and also take it for them. Not because you owe them anything, but because people respect results more than they respect the journey so if you keep trying to tell them and you keep trying to explain yourself to them there's a likely chance that they're not going to understand and good girl it's not your job to make them understand that's your results and whatever it is that you want to do it may take a while but that's okay every good thing takes a while every good thing takes an amount of pain, an amount of effort, an amount of <sighs> loss. It it takes a while and actually, I don't know if it's God speaking through me right now. <laughs> but I just feel like we're just so caught up in trying to, we're so stuck by trying to be in this category and like if you want to be a writer like I want to be a writer but I don't really think I have that like writer aesthetic I fucking hate aesthetics aesthetics are bullshit because why are you trying to fit me in a box in an aesthetic aesthetics are cajun because like when you go on like my fucking instagram page I'm gonna put it right here hopefully I remember to put the instagram right here because you sometimes you're so lazy with editing come on girl i'm talking to you this is past you talking to editing you right now put it up there okay but that, that should have been the slide of me showing it because i was just talking to myself but it's like trying to fit yourself into this one person and labeling yourself is so limiting you can be a writer but you can also be a pilot you can also do whatever you want and I feel like we have to let go of the narrative that in order to be something, we have to live our lives, <clears throat> our lives a certain way. You don't have to do that. Everybody's story is uniquely different. My story is going to be uniquely different than yours. And I realize that and I'm like, that's okay. There's no such thing as good and bad. There is no such thing as the wrong or the right way because every, every step is the way. Take this step even if it's not the right step but now you know it's not the right step so you you direct yourself to the right step and all i have to say is i feel like my thoughts have been like jumbling around and everything but believe in yourself more than anyone don't look for people to believe in you girl or boy like you need to believe in yourself like be fucking delusional with that shit have people say like you're crazy which is something i'm just starting to work on because I want to start telling people, like, I'm so scared to say this out loud, but I'm going to be a great-ass writer. I'm going to be a monumental-ass music composer. And yes, bitch, I mean it. And just wait and see. And it's also not about just talking and saying these things. It's about actually putting them to life. And I personally, I used to be scared of the work because I used to feel like I was inadequate to do the work. So... I would just be like, oh, 
so procrastinating and like not doing anything and getting so stressed out that I don't do anything. But what I just have to say is like, just do it. Do it scared. And right now I feel like that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it scared. And I'm doing it not knowing the outcome. But faith is believing in what your eyes cannot see. And I believe in you. I would never tell someone to um, keep their dreams latent just so they can survive. Or just so they can, I don't know. Like, I'd rather starve as an artist than starve as working a nine-to-five job. i rather go through the thick of it doing what I want to do than doing something that someone else wants me to do, doing what my parents want me to do. And right now I'm in school, but me being in school isn't me trying to prepare to go to the world and get a nine-to-five job. I've been saying this forever. I will not get a nine-to-five job. And even if I do, that's not even, that's not even up for discussion. I'm not getting a nine-to-five job. I would, I would not be in an office. Never, never, ever, ever. So I'll be working. It's gonna be hard, but I don't know. I just feel like, just trust. Trust in, trust in, trust in God, trust in the universe, trust in whatever you believe in. Trust in a higher power and know that they're backing you up because no one can support you the way that they will. They put the idea in your mind. And if you're going through some type of like backlash because of a decision you're, you've taken or because of a decision that you are gonna take, I just say, um, stay calm. Stay calm within that and own up to it. Don't, don't, don't backfire. Don't, don't retrace your steps because you're scared. Keep going scared, and the outcome will be very much promising than what you would have gotten if you let go. So I guess I'm just saying this for myself too. Uh, everything that I say is ultimately directed back to me. Like I just don't even talk just to like push something to you. I talk to make sense of things in my head and let go of all resistance and trust. It was put in you for a reason. And that's like what I've been affirming to myself. That idea was put in me for a reason. And it would not have been put in you if it wasn't meant for you. I tell everyone this. Right now, uh, my friend currently has the book. But I'm waiting to get it back so I can reread it. But Happy Pockets Full of Money. Everybody should read that book. That book definitely changed the way I see a lot of things. Hold on. caffeinated but also hydrated but it definitely changed the way I see a lot of things and I don't know I guess this is my little check-in and I hope it resonates with you it resonates with someone if not it resonates with me and I hope you have a beautiful day and don't hold back baby believe in yourself believe in you because I believe I believe I feel like we were all brought on this earth to uniquely express ourselves and not be caged into what society wants us to do and to getting jobs that we don't want and if you do want a nine-to-five job girl that's okay as long as it's what you want to do girl i would never i sh sometimes wish that i i could because it's i feel like it's so much easier than trying to you know world domination but i don't know i believe in you i believe in me i believe that god has a place for all of us to succeed so keep going baby don't don't give up yet because mm -mm, i want to see you prosper you can always hit me up you can always hit me up i'm, I'm so in person I'm, I'm so like introverted but like i love hearing people talk and like be passionate about things i love hearing people's ideas and i would never no idea is a bad idea i would never like shut you down or anything i, I just want to hear you win i just want to hear your ideas so if you do you can either dm me yeah i don't want to say email because no just you can dm me leave a comment and be like hey girl i want to talk and then i'm gonna hit you up and then I'm gonna be like, hey girl, what's going on? <laughs>
but it was nice talking to you. Thank you for catching up with me. I'm trying to get better at this content stuff. Um, but yeah, more content coming. Hopefully exciting. I never know what I'm going to record. It should just be recording. But thank you. I feel some type of way about this video because I feel like I rambled a lot. But am I rambling sometimes? Some sense is being made. Good night or good morning or good day. Whenever you're watching this. Hope you have a beautiful day. Hope you have a beautiful day. I feel like I've said bye a couple times now. But I love you. And like I said, there's room for all of us. There's a seat at the table for every one of us. So don't give up on yourself, because bitch, I'm not giving up on you. See you later. Okay, bye.